Hi guys and welcome to another exciting episode of Glass Class. Today we are going to talk about UEBA or User and Entity Behavior Analytics. So what does that do? That actually baselines a user's activity to see what the user is doing. When he's logging in, what he's doing with the application, if he's downloading content, when he's downloading, and it creates a baseline of that user's activity. So if the user does anything which is different from that, or deviates from that normal activity, it can be tagged as something which is suspicious. Let me walk you through an example. So Dave uh, is an employee uh, who works uh, with Salesforce all the time, downloads reports, analyzes data, and he logs in every day, Monday to Friday, from let's say at nine, and then logs out at five. Um, suddenly you see that Dave is logging in one day on a Saturday, which he doesn't normally do, but which necessarily doesn't mean that it is suspicious. And he again logs in into Salesforce, downloads a bunch of things, sensitive inf reports, which um, now he's gonna analyze. But the different thing in this case is now he's actually emailing them out to his personal ID, which is not the usual behavior that Dave does. So all of this activity, if you look at it together uh, and integrate it, it makes sense because now this is a, something suspicious which you don't want the user to do. So you would want to you know, alert the admin so that the admin knows that this is happening, or you want to step up the authentication, like maybe send an SMS token to make sure that Dave, he, Dave says who he is, and you don't want a wrong user to get access to that information. So basically, what UEBA does is that it lets you identify suspicious user activity and take an action on it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Glass Class.